Hey everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning into my video again this week. Uh, I hope that they are encouraging and I hope they are giving you some good ideas for things to be doing at your home. And I'm just truly thankful that you're here watching. So um, I really hope that you are having a good day and I hope the rest of your day goes well too. Uh, today, I am going to be sharing a little bit uh, about what the girls and I have been doing, some of our activities, and these are acorn themed activities, which are perfect for the fall time, right? And especially, we're moving into November, so it's, it's still a perfect time uh, to be doing fall themed activities. I'm not jumping right into Christmas yet, which I know a lot of people are. Uh, I am truly thankful for Thanksgiving, <laughs> and uh, I love this time of year, so I definitely soak in all of the fall as much as I can and as long as I can, so at least until Thanksgiving. But, so I'm gonna share a little bit, um, a, an, an edible activity, also some learning activities, uh, craft, and some other things that we've done recently. So I hope that it gives you some good ideas and um, maybe some fun things to do with your children or your grandchildren. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and just jump right in. with books and I don't care how old you are storybooks are always great for everyone uh, I use them all the time to just read for fun but to also teach like certain concepts uh, to teach lessons um, and to introduce uh, various themes or topics and so obviously I got some acorn themed uh, fall books uh, to introduce uh, in this themed activity set that we have. Um, I did not read all of the books in the same day. No, I spread them out, uh, read one or two a day or whatever it worked for us. So don't feel like you have to read like a million books in one day in order to have like a themed activity time. Not at all. So here are some books that I read to our girls and they actually really loved. The Acorn and the Oak Tree is a cute book that briefly introduces the life of an acorn, but it primarily consists of stories, of different things that happen to the acorn and the oak tree. Little Acorn is a similar book, but it's more cutesy and cartoony than the previous one. And it focuses more on each step of the acorn's life cycle and is a little more scientific. Cousin of an Acorn is a book that focuses on nature and items within nature and how they are all connected. It shows how one little acorn affects so many different plants and animals. The Oak Inside the Acorn is probably my favorite book out of all of these, and it's an inspiring story about discovering purpose in life. The acorn struggles to see its purpose, but his mother, which is an oak tree, assures him that God has a great plan for him. And I'm sure that this is something that we can all relate to at one time or another. Okay, next, we I pulled out one of our learning activities that I already had, so just FYI, I did not go out and buy this activity for our theme of acorns. Uh, I actually already had it and both girls, so we have a two and a half year old and now a five year old and both girls love playing with this activity. So it is actually a little learning game from the company Learning Resources and they are literally little acorns. Whoops. Um, these are acorns that cover the entire alphabet so they have A through Z labeled acorns and they have different color um, little hats, the tops, and they have a letter on them and on the inside there's a little tiny toy uh, that corresponds with the letter. So uh, there are so many different things that you can teach using these little, this little toy, this acorn toys. Um, so obviously matching car, you know, with the C, you're talking about letter sounds, letter recognition. You can even with the younger ones work on colors. Like there's just so many things that you can do and I really, really like this activity. Uh, you can even take 
the little um, toys. You can hide them, have them go find them, find the right acorn to put them in. Uh, you can put them in sensory bins. Uh, I mean, there's just so much. So this one is uh, ice cream, it's red. So obviously it goes into the eye and here is the top to it. You know it matches because it's red. Here's a red cap, but it also has a lowercase uh, letter in there as well. So there's capitals on the outside, lowercases on the inside. It's another skill right there. So I love these. These are super cute. So many things that you can do. I will link uh, the toy, this toy, uh, in the description box below so you can check out and see exactly what I'm talking about and see where you can get it from. Uh, so I hope that it could actually be helpful for you at your home too if you're teaching these skills to your children. We also did some fun art activities or like paper craft activities. Uh, the girls, especially Ava, love doing art. I think she's like an aspiring little artist. Uh, she just, she loves doing crafts and painting and drawing and all that kind of stuff. So uh, here are some of the crafts, the cute crafts and some ideas for you to use with your kids. How cute is this little acorn craft? I found it on simpleeverydaymom.com and she has a template on there that you can download for free. So I will go ahead and put the link in the description box below so you can too. This craft is perfect for those that are working on their fine motor skills. So you just rip paper up and glue it down. And I found this at the Therapy Fun Zone and she also has a free printable on there that you can print and I will go ahead and link that below too. So next, I am a big proponent, like huge proponent of incorporating real life with what children are learning. So I think that's the way that all kids should learn. I do not like having to sit down in like a classroom environment or just sit down and do textbooks or worksheets or something like that. Uh, that's totally not my teaching philosophy. I 100% believe uh, do you using real the real world, right? Or real world experiences or real world tools uh, to teach children and even adults too. Uh, so of course we're learning about acorns here. Uh, what better place to learn about acorns than actually going to the park or going outside and finding acorns because literally they can see them falling from the tree, they can pick them up off the floor, they can examine them, uh, they can just feel them, feel the different textures. Uh, I mean, so much that they can learn just from going and observing an acorn in its real environment. So uh, that's what we did. We went to the park and uh, I, we found some trees that were perfect, that acorns were all around, and we had them pick them up, we searched for them, we hunted for them, because you know, you have to have a certain kind of tree in order to have an acorn. So we uh, made observations of the different trees that had acorns and which ones didn't, and um, how to identify that tree, and all that. So, uh, they were able to do that at the park and we try to go on a family walk um, in the evenings when it is good weather and right now we're kind of slowly getting back into like good weather here in Florida. So uh, we went on a walk the other night and in our neighborhood there happened to be some acorns that we found. So we are picking them up as we go. Um, bring we brought some home too so you could always pick them up bring them home and do a craft with them or something uh <laughs> but uh they were actually even able with the help of their dad of course uh they were able to with and this was ava's idea not my idea at all but she said hey, can we get a nutcracker and crack these nuts open? Because she knows that squirrels eat them and uh, store them in the winter and all of that. So she wanted to see what was on the inside. So I was like, I don't know if I want to get out an actual like Christmas nutcracker or not. So uh, her dad actually had some like pliers 
uh, in the car and he grabbed them out and we used the pliers and we cracked open the acorns. And it was cool because some of them were actually like rotten on the inside and other ones like had good flesh on the inside. And uh, you can see that there was like orange like consistency in there. And I mean, it was just really cool. They learned so much from that experience. And you would think that cracking acorns open is like no big deal, but they think it's amazing. They think it's like the, the thing. <laughs> And they just learn so much and I love it when I see that excitement and the love of learning and like light bulbs going off like that is my favorite that's why I became a teacher uh, that's why I teach them at home and all of that so highly encourage you everything that you're doing to take your kids out into the real world and really explore in a hands-on way because it's the best here is just a cute little picture of our girls and their dad at the park when they're investigating the insides of the acorns. They had so much fun with this activity. Now it's time that I'm going to share our edible craft or edible snack or whatever you want to call it. Uh, we ended up uh, getting in the kitchen and taking some food items and making acorns which was really cute and I got the idea from a friend of mine who is that I went to college with and she is still teaching kindergarten and she did with her little kindergartners this year so um, I just thought it was a good idea and the girls actually really loved it uh, they kept talking about it for a while and we've had extra materials so they keep wanting to make little acorns for uh, little snack treats and stuff so it's fun um, it didn't turn out exactly the way that I had planned uh, because one of the ingredients um, I let my husband go and get the ingredients for me which was so nice of him uh, I was super thankful for that because I haven't really been going into the grocery store as much as I used to uh, so I asked him to pick up the little nutter butter cookies but instead he picked up nutter butter wafers so I kind of had to make it work, but it would be the best if you had the little Nutter Butter cookies, uh, which I'll show you, uh, but we made it work and the girls still loved it and they said it tasted yummy. So here, let's check it out. Here are the ingredients that you will need for this activity and actually they would change a little bit. So um, you'll definitely need the chocolate morsels um, and the Hershey Kisses. If you wanted to keep it like a little healthier, then you could just use peanut butter instead of the milk chocolate frosting. Oh, Celia. And um, I would highly recommend to not get these Nutter Butters, that you would get the regular Nutter Butters, um, like the little sandwich cookies, uh, not these. The Nutter Butter Bites here, those are the ones that you want. I've also heard though that you can use the mini Nilla wafers. They work as well, but I didn't want to use those because they don't have the same like cross hatching pattern as the bites do. And I feel like that looks more like an acorn top. So in order to make this work, we are going to take these Nutter Butter wafers out and I'm going to take a little piping nozzle and we're gonna push it in the middle of the wafer so it'll come out like the little top. And this is how it turns out. So it's not exactly the way that it was supposed to be, but it'll definitely work. We can definitely still stick it on top of the Hershey Kiss. All right, so how to put it together or teach your kids how to put it together first. And I, oh, I highly recommend that you Try putting it together and doing some examples first, just so you know how to tell them to do it and how to show them how to do it, all of that, uh, before you letting them, like before you let them just go and do it all on their own. So um, first we're gonna take your Hershey Kiss and we're gonna get some of the chocolate frosting, just a little bit. Uh, we're gonna rub that on top, spread it nice and even. And then we're gonna take the little Nutter Butter cookie wafer, uh, place that on top like it's the little uh, hat to the acorn. And then I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna put that down, take a little bit more frosting and put it on the chocolate morsel. Rub that on. And then we're gonna stick that on top of the wafer, just like it's little. 
and there we go it's like a little acorn um it's a little acorn treat look at these aren't these so cute they look just like little acorns as you can see, this activity is actually really easy for both of our girls. Um, this is Ava, she's five, and it's also great for our two and a half year old, as you'll see in just a second. Ew, look mm -hmm. mine. Not yet. Uh -oh. <laughs> Ava, do you like how it tastes? Yes. Is it really yummy? Yes. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope the videos that I've been producing uh, are an encouragement or at least puts a smile on your face throughout the, uh, the craziness that we have going on in the world. Um, I hope that it inspires you to do some more activities uh, with your own kiddos, uh, maybe come up with some fun themes, um, and especially this time of year is great for doing themed things. We have fall and Thanksgiving and Halloween and Christmas and you can do Christmas around the world and uh, I mean all kinds of stuff. There's so much that you can do uh, during this time of year. So uh, I hope that again, I hope that it was an encouragement and you got some ideas and if you'd like to continue to follow along, make sure that you, you are subscribed to this channel and that you're following along on my blog pages. So my blog is passioninthepurpose.com and I am on Instagram and Facebook at the same name, Passion in the Purpose. So until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. See you soon, bye.